How significant is this ruling? Well, it is significant in terms of freedom of speech and how much a person's belief system, even if it is offensive to some, is protected by the law. Maya Forstater holds what she calls gender critical views. That means she believes while a person can present as a particular gender or identify with a particular gender, sex is unchangeable. Of course, a lot of people find that offensive, including many trans people. Uh, but Maya was tweeting about this back in 2018 when the government was considering changing the way in which transgender people can officially change their gender. So you would simply have to state which gender you identify with rather than having to prevent to um, show a medical diagnosis of gender dysphoria. Now, Maya wasn't happy with that. She started tweeting about it and these tweets got the attention of her employer. Uh, and she says she was then let go, that her contract wasn't renewed as a result of this. So she then goes to an employment tribunal. They ruled uh, that her views weren't protected from from discrimination. Her team had made the case that in the same way that you can't discriminate against someone because of their race or religion, Maya shouldn't have been discriminated against uh, because of what they described as her philosophical beliefs. She then appealed that decision and a judge today has sided with her and this is what Maya had to say in response. So, so the judgment found that my belief, which is that sex is real, immutable and important, which is just the basic belief about sex that most people hold, is worthy of respect in a democratic society. It overturned the previous judgment um, and it said that this, this belief should be protected. So people, people who hold this belief shouldn't be discriminated against at work or as um, users of services and they shouldn't be harassed. Obviously, it is worth pointing out that a lot of people do disagree with Maya's beliefs, but she used that wording, worthy of respect in a democratic society, because that is the wording from the original judgment. A judge has now said that isn't the case. However, the judge today was keen to state that this judgment does not mean that transgender people can be harassed or discriminated against, and it also does not mean that people who hold Maya's beliefs can misgender transgender people, i.e. use the wrong pronouns. And those are points uh, that the LGBTQ plus charity Stonewall were keen to highlight. They said that this judgment is not a massive win for Maya. However, this does set a precedent for people who do hold Maya's beliefs. Effectively, the judgment saying they should not uh, face a backlash for expressing them. Uh, and in terms of Maya's case now with the employment tribunal, her employers can uh, appeal this decision. But if they don't, this will continue in the employment tribunal and Maya will have to that she was let go because of these beliefs.